Denham, and this is Finlandia Friday. Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of Finlandia Fridays. I am your host, Olivia Myers, and I am joined once again by women's basketball coach Mariah Dunham. Mariah, you're our most frequent uh, visitor on Finlandia hey, Fridays. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm and, privileged. And we never talk about basketball because yeah. you are also doing a thousand other things. Yeah, you know, I wear many hats, as all we all do at a small Division three school, so uh, my face is everywhere. Right. Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. And one of the things that you're actually in charge of is the Pavo Nermi um, Strength and Fitness Center here yeah. on campus. So we wanted to bring you on because... You know, the new year's coming up and people are looking to get in shape and mm-hmm. you have some specials yep. that are going to come up for the fitness center. So let's talk about the fitness center first off and what the facilities are. Yeah, so it's pretty awesome. Uh, the fitness center is actually kind of a big deal. Um, I always I sell it for recruiting purposes and then now selling memberships. Uh, people walk in, they're like, holy cow, like, you know, we have neighboring tech and uh, they, they really try to compare it and they're like there's so much more space and um, you know it's pretty quiet because it is used mostly by our athletes Um, but we do have some members that are out in the public that do come in and use it Um, you know we have free weights uh, we have some machines we have a cardio we also have a cardio room Uh, we got a little bit of a, a mini turf too so it's kind of neat because there's a lot of things that you can do in that gym and uh it's pretty awesome too. We got we got saunas um, as well for for people. So um, it's kind of a little hidden gem. It really is, and and I remember the first time that I walked into it and kind of having that wow moment. Mm-hmm. I mean, everything's pretty much brand new and updated. There are so many machines that people can use. So you're not really sharing machines a whole lot unless you happen to get in there at the same time as a team. But mm-hmm. The facilities are just really phenomenal, and it's a it's a really nice environment as a whole. I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, like I said, uh, everything is pretty much brand new, just because it is a newer facility. And and you're exactly right. You know, you're you're gonna pretty much be on your own um, in there, aside from teams being in there. But uh, for the most part, there is no sharing anything. It's just kind of by yourself when teams aren't in there. So when are the teams not in there? Because I'm sure that as a community member, you don't necessarily want to go in whenever the entire football team, for example, is in there. Right. So if you think about a class schedule in college, um, you kind of want to base your times off of that. So early, early morning, you know, the 6 a.m., uh, once, you know, classes are in session and the school starts, you know, that's our, our teams are going to be in there just because they have classes throughout the day. But, you know, a lot of the times, like, mid-morning is wide open, noon is usually wide open, um, and then the later, like I would say, uh, maybe 7 o'clock is open as well. Normally teams are practicing then. Um, so you do have some times, and any time really throughout the day, if, if you have an odd work schedule or whatever, um, is wide open just because people are in classes and they can't really get their lifting schedule in there. So. So what are the full hours for the facility? So right now, um, during our winter hours, it's 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. Um, during the Christmas break hours, which is uh, December 14th to January 12th, uh, Monday through Friday, it's 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Saturday, uh, it's 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And Sunday, it's 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. So a lot of opportunity to get into the gym and yes. get a workout. In. And especially over this Christmas break when everyone goes home and really the only teams on campus are the winter sports. Um, and we aren't really using the gym during that time. We're mostly traveling or, or games. Um, this is a perfect opportunity for you to kind of take advantage of all that space and, you know, not not a lot of people in there. So. And one of the things that the facility also offers is um, some classes. There are some classes that people can sign up for. What are those? Yeah, we don't have as many as I would like. Um, I wish that we could add a few more. It's just lack of instructors. Um, but we do have a rowing class, which is a, a women's rowing class, um, and they go on Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, I do I do believe she has one session right now, which is at the mid-morning, like the 10 a.m. Um, I think she was trying to get a 5 p.m. group as well. Um, and that's all posted outside of the door um, of our cardio room. Um, it's just on a little calendar out there, and you can also always uh, find it online or, or reach out to me to, 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 get a, to take advantage of that. Absolutely, and one of the other things that you have available is a youth group in the summer, and summer seems so far away <laughs> right now 
yep. <laughs> with all the snow and the cold. But, you know, what what does that look like in case people want to start planning for that? Yeah, so the nice thing, too, about, you know, um, Finlandia and, and our strength program, our strength coach is actually uh, – brought in by Advantage uh, Sports, which is out of Marquette, based out of Marquette, but our strength coach lives here. And um, so all of the stuff that our athletes do, he opens it up to youth in the summer. And it's it's mostly, he has a little, a little kid group and he also has like a high school group and they do basically the basics of lifting. Uh, working on just mobilization and functions of how to how to actually properly train. Um, so that's a really nice thing to um, kind of bring in in the summer. And, and if your kids are looking to get involved somehow of, you know, how do we even get stronger? How do we even get faster? It's a it's a really great group. And you can find that at Advantage Sports. And they're pretty much all over social media, um, whether that's uh, Facebook or Instagram. And, and you can find uh, the owner is Dustin Branshaw. That sounds like a really great opportunity for students then to to experience that and mm-hmm. you know get introduced to the proper way to lift yep. and things like that. So the big question: How much does it cost to attend and uh, be yeah. a member? So daily passes for c- community members are five dollars. Uh, veterans are five dollars. Um, we do have military five bucks. Um, monthly passes. Um, for community members are 35, uh, veterans are 25, and then uh, current military is 20. Um, and we, offer, we also offer three months, which is 90 and 70, so 90 for community, and then veterans, alumni, senior citizens, 70 bucks. Um, and then the annual, of course, which is $260 and 200 for uh, veterans, alumni, senior citizens. Um, so those are our current prices. But uh, as we mentioned before, that we are running some specials starting January 1st. And the special goes from January 1st to January 31st. And it's basically just off of our annual um, price. So we're chopping off uh, 60 bucks for the community members. So if you total that out, that's $16 a month that you'll be paying for a monthly rate. Um, for veterans, alumni, senior citizens, we're actually chopping off 60 bucks as well. So that's $140 for the whole year. Um, which is eleven dollars per month, so wow. you can't get much cheaper than that. Yeah, that's that's really great, especially for the facilities that are available and the machines and the and cardio. Yeah, space. and that's that's good for a year, so you're you're really saving a lot of money by doing that. Right, and even if you just want a sauna. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, going in sauna, you could walk around the basketball court for a little bit, and uh, uh, yeah, that's another just to warm up out from the cold outside. So. Absolutely. And so where can uh, where can people sign up to become a member? So you can go directly to the Pablo Nermi. There's usually a uh, facility attendant there that can sign up. Um, if you need to email me, um, all of my stuff is online as far as getting in contact with me. But there is usually an attendant working if for some reason there's not. Like I said, I, I my phone number and uh, web or email is actually right outside the door too so if even if you can't don't have access to the internet at all you can see it right there all right fantastic well if you are interested in getting into shape at the beginning of 2020 new decade aren't we all so <laughs> <laughs> so this is a great opportunity to do that at such a discounted rate so be sure to check that out um, become a member. And, um, yeah, Mariah, if you want to give your phone number in case people want to sure. reach out to you. My number is 906-201-1024. And they can uh, call, uh, text, whatever they feel comfortable with, um, and we can just get that rolling. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for being here um, at the end of the semester. And the semester officially ends today, so students are leaving, done with finals, heading yep. out for the holiday break. Um, just as a update, the university will be closed for most of the Um, remainder of December beginning on December 20th um, until January 2nd or so Um, but the admission staff will have limited hours in case you have any questions and Coach Dunham I'm sure is available in case you have any questions about the fitness center. Yes I'll be here Uh, the team will be in action back in um, the end of the month and so it'll be exciting. Fantastic well best of luck to your team. Thank you. And we will see you next week.